Shalom. Call Halayim La. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shah Bahashem. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who will. To the brothers, to the hopeful elect that's pushing this truth. Shalom. Now, this video is going to be straight to the point about Illinois essentially making crime legal. The purge. Now, you won't be able to hear me playing the video, so I'll leave, I'll leave a link in the description. Description. Basically, pretty much one of the most gruesome acts of violence that they're giving people bail on is like second degree murder and arson, which, in summary, you burn somebody's house down. If you get caught and the cops feel like again, feel like arresting you, you'll go to jail, get booked, and then you're set free. They took away cash bond starting um January 1st, 2023. So we're going to see how this plays out. If nothing changes from, from what I've been hearing, it's already said and done. It's just going to happen 100%, so they say. And if it does happen, it's going to be the purge. I repeat, it's going to be the purge in Illinois. Chicago's going to be madness. The hopeful elect, Chicago, is preparing for that madness, like we all are. Jeremiah 30, Daniel 12, chapter. All right, so this is a big deal, you could say, for sure, because this is a state, a, a body of Babylon the Great, Essentially making lawlessness legal, which will in turn spread to the rest of the United States of America, which is indeed the daughter of Babylon, that great horde riding upon the beast. Okay. And my thoughts on this is, you know, we want this to happen. Bring it on. We want this. Now, I'm not in Illinois, all right? I do know a person in Illinois who is trying to leave, he's trying to go off the grid, wherever he's trying to go, I told him about the truth, of course, I don't know, from my understanding with him, he, he hasn't, you know, truly ate the whole role, but you never know, you will have a lot of Israelites coming, coming to this truth, to this fold, during Jacob's trouble, during this chaos, because they're going to see the miracles happening. You know Jake. Jake 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 for the most part won't come and people in general too, but specifically Jake. Jake not gonna take something serious until he see see something serious happen. Pretty much. And I just got a few scriptures I'm gonna hit on this topic. Go to first thing that comes to the mind right now is Second Ezra the fifteenth chapter. I mean, this is hammer on the head right here. This is second there's a 15 chapter coming to a to a point to a stand. It's not a, it's, it's a lucky. I'm trying to put my words together. Let's just read it. Second there's chapter 15. Verse 15. Verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people and a sword is represents. You know, a, a slaughter fest. So it can, people gonna literally have swords, axes, machetes, and of course the modern day store sword, it's a pistol, a gun, a rifle. Club. What is them rifles? I seen one of the, this dude. He um, he's one of those preppers, but he's more like a. He's a prepper, but he's a he's a different type of prepper. He's more he's more realistic with his prepping. You know, he I forgot, um he's kinda like a like how you a black pill prepper, you could you could if I can explain it in summary. And he like don't get me wrong, how he got his little setup, like he he got a solid setup. You know, he's like a mad scientist. He got little cool gadgets. He can turn junk into something useful, you know, so, and, and a guy like that, and, um, 
a grid down situation will have more merit than the, the vast majority of people. Of course, not the hopeful elect. But if you're, well, the elect at that point, right? If you're in this situation, in Illinois, where you're straight up purging, I mean, all you got to do is just get up out of there. And that's another thing that just came to my head. Obama signed that the UN can come in, you know, the peacekeepers, the blue hats can come in if there's civil arrest, civil unrest in, in Babylon the Great. Obama signed that into action right before he left office. So like 2015, 2016, around there, he signed that into action. So guess what? When this could be, we could very well see you win, start slaughtering Jake and, and the rest of these heathens that's going, uh, you know, completely crazy in, in Illinois coming, coming this next year. If this law, if this is, if this is established, which they say it is, January 1st, 2023, we'll find out. We will definitely find out. And what's crazy is that I seen a video from 20, 2019. It was, um, it was one of the brothers in Chicago. I don't know if he's still there or not. I haven't never seen his channel. It's, this other brother who who pretty much reposted his video and gave his thoughts and, you know, shed some light on the video. And basically, he he was in Chicago and he had a dream that uh, Esau let loose his robots. Esau let loose his robots in Chicago. And he said it was like robot birds or bats. And they was going crazy. They was going, they were going insane, killing the birds. I think they said they went after him, the robot birds or something like that, or bats. He said birds or bats. And then he, this is the part where it kind of struck me. It struck me a little bit. He said he saw a robot, I think he said a T-Rex, a robot T-Rex that was after him. This is why it struck me. For starters... As we know, in the Transformers movie, they have, what, robot dinosaurs. But, this would also struck me. I saw another video. I'm pretty sure it wasn't, I, I know it wasn't the same brother, like, neither brother that I'm talking about. The one that had the initial dream and video, and the one that reposted it and gave his thoughts. It was neither one of those. I just forgot who it was exactly. It was a couple years back, maybe even 2019 when I seen it, or 2020. For sure not. 2021 or this year 2022 and in the video it was pretty much one of Esau's whistleblowers talking about the crazy technology they have and he talked about a robot velociraptor and a robot velociraptor could run faster than a car could dodge bullets and it can shred metal into spaghetti and ever since he said that, and then this brother having a dream about a robot T-Rex, it's not going to be surprising if Esau got robot dinosaurs roaming around and just slaughtering Jake, because that's who they mainly want to come after. You, you heathens are just going to get caught up in the crossfire, for the most part. It's Jacob's trouble, not Esau's trouble, or well, Esau will in, indeed be in trouble, right? But it's specifically Jacob's trouble. Let's let's read that real quick before I go further further on. Jeremiah thirty and seven. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. So this has never happened before. And after this happens, King David will come back. Because the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. King David will come back. The elect are going to be risen up, the house of David. They're going to be risen up before then, I should say. But they'll get them new bodies afterwards. And it's going to be a day like never before. So that none is like it. It's even a time of Jacob's trouble. And Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. Now you know you have some people talk about, um, what about Dan? We don't know what happened to Dan. It's not written in the scriptures. 
what happened today. Because as we know, it was what? The um, ten tribes of Israel that came over here in, to the Americas or at, at least land, what was it? The Assyrian captivity, I believe. But we don't know what happened to Dan. Just pure, pure speculation. There's nothing in the scriptures. It talks about the twelve tribes. And it's been prophesied about the twelve tribes. Even, I believe, when Dan was still around. All right? And, you know, so that can bug somebody out, man. That can bug somebody out. But he shall be saved out of it. It's going to be a time like never before. We're going to be seeing robots. Newly created creatures. Monster looking things. Alright. We're going to see. A di dinosaurs. You know Leviathan. The behemoth. Creatures like that, newly created creatures that we, we, we can't even comprehend what they're going to look like. Alright? Esau coming with his robots. His little crazy, crazy little... Man, Esau got some, some shit for Jake, man. These two-thirds... These two-thirds finna get slaughtered. And, and, and Jake finna go crazy. Because, you know, Jake and Chicago built different. I mean, look at, look at uh, Chief Keefe. And all them. Go look at the story of like, what is it, 63rd and O Block and all that madness, man. I follow, I followed this one guy on YouTube a long time ago. And he was like a, sa he was a savage. He was a savage, wicked Jake that talked about all the gang stuff they do in Chicago. And he still, like he's, he was like, t he was telling on himself. On YouTube. Like, you know how rappers be telling on themselves in the lyrics? He was telling themselves just on YouTube. Like, you know how you have YouTube just have, like, commentators and stuff? He was commenting about all the gang stuff he did. You know, I would just listen to it. And he would just talk about, like, I'm like, Jake wicked. Jake is wicked. Their lifestyle revolves around wickedness. That's why Jake gotta go. For the sword, this is verse 15. Second Ezra chapter 15. For the sword of their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another in swords in their hands. So it's gonna man, I had a dream of Jacob's trouble, man. In a whole city. I was in a city. I don't know where. I just knew I was in a city, like a city type environment, like New York City type deal. So imagine that. I was in that environment. Cities on fire. The streets was like a warfare, like they had like sandbags and you know the typical little trench looking stuff you see in like movies or World War Two film and stuff like that. It was like that, but on in the city and it was just dead bodies everywhere. And it was so many dead bodies that it was blood. It was I mean, I, I can vividly remember it. I had on boots and all types of stuff. And it was blood all over the street. It was so much blood that you couldn't not step on in blood no matter where you, what happened unless you, you you flew or you ran on walls you was gonna step on blood and i was just i just remember stepping in the blood and i'm just walking down the street i don't know who i was with i know i was with some people and i seen it was like these two at least two maybe even three different groups just going to war they had a little Mad Max looking cars, you know, souped up cars with skulls on it and barbed wire and intimidating looking rusty stuff. You know what I'm saying? You get the message. They had these vehicles and they're just going to war. And this is what this is these scriptures is talking about. For they shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. So the government, they're not going to care about the government. They're not going to care about Trump, Biden, whoever else is in office. If there even is someone in office outside of Biden. Uh, the queen just died. They're not going to care about who's the king now. And they're not even royalty. They're Edomites. All right? I'm just speaking verbatim, so to speak. Uh, what is his name? Charles. They're not going to care. And they, you starting to see it happen now. Evading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. This verse 17 right here. A man 
shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. What's going on right here? And this is another uh, topic. This is another topic I wanted to dive into about what's probably a 99% chance is coming is coming to uh, Illinois, and that is the truckers, supplies. If you're a trucker, and you, let's say you're from Indiana, and you ship supplies to Illinois, if it's straight up Mad Max, pretty much in Illinois, <clears throat> you're not going to want to come, because you're going to hear about other truckers getting their cars looted, getting all their stuff taken from them, and then, they, and then they're like tortured or killed or or who knows what else? You know, Jake Wicked, Esau, and these other heathens Wicked too. So they can. It's a very possible. It's a very high chance that Illinois can be cut off, like uh, like Doomsday two thousand eight, how they cut off what was it, Ireland, I think, or or what is the that country on the outside of the of um? Let me look it up. What's that country? I think it's Ireland map of the UK. Let me see. What is this country called? Scotland. Yep, Scotland, not Ireland, because it's England. The UK is Ireland, Wales, England, Scotland. They completely cut off Scotland. So, it's a very good chance that they cut off Illinois, no supplies in, no supplies out, because it's just madness. And then that's when cannibalism, all right, that's 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 when the 17th chapter, a man shall desire to go in the city and shall not be able, that's when that comes into, into effect. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So men going to be afraid. You know these women is going to be peeing on themselves. Literally, literally, these, they're going to be, be pissing on themselves. They're going to be pee. Dripping down their legs. Because there's going to be so much happening. It's not just worrying about your fellow neighbor trying to kill you. Take your woman. All the, No, it's, it's going to be robots. It's going to be, be demons. Newly created creatures. And all t- apparitions. All type of stuff. It's, it's going to be insanity. And the only way you're going to make it out through this. On the right hand side is if you're a part of the elect. Point blank, period. And on the left hand side, you will have heathens in their bunkers and just surviving by being a savage or having a little homestead, uh, all fortified like um, Alexandria. Let me show you what I mean. Because best believe you're going to have uh, specifically Edomites pulling stuff off like this. But if they're in the Babylon the Great, they're going to get uh, turned to dust anyways. Check this out. You see this? This is this is how people, if you're, you know, this is how people are going to try to survive what's coming. You see that? Alexandria safe zone. You see that? They got a nice, and those walls are high. They're, those are like, I mean, look at them compared to the houses. Those are 15, 20 foot tall. Metal sheet walls in the in, in in the middle of the forest. You understand? This is how people are gonna survive and thrive and what's coming. Like if you're out in the open, and what I mean by you're out in the open, like just anybody can just pull up on you without there being some type of barrier between you and them. Oh yeah, you you gonna get you gonna turn to dog food. You somebody gonna eat you, man. If you how about shim you how about shim y'all shot not dealing with you somebody gonna eat you kill you torture you you know run up up in you you know these sodomites out here you women we only gotta mention that man and I'm coming with that final part about raping the scriptures look at that horde of zombies it's gonna be zombies out here it's gonna be zombies people ain't ready. You think these all these movies and all the these these spirit these these uh superpower films and comics this wasn't made for the the um 
entertainment of you heathens. This was made for the elect to see this stuff. And this is not no fiction. This is going to be reality. This is going to be worse. It's going to be worse than, than The Walking Dead and, and Terminator and uh, what The Hills Have Eyes. and Man, that ain't nothing, man. That ain't nothing. And y'all not ready. Verse 19. And a man shall have no pity. No pity. Upon his neighbor. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. So they gon' they gonna have the AR-15s with the 5-5. Five, five, what is it? 5-5-6-2-2-3. Five, five, two, two, they gonna have the AR-15s. With the with the six magazines. Three on a three on a chest. One on a one in the crotch, two on the side with a pistol in the in a uh, on the ankle holster, and then a desert eagle on the back. <laughs> you understand? And they gonna run up in your house, tie you up, pop your woman in front of you. They a sodomite. They gonna pop you. They gonna take all your supplies and they gonna burn your house down. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Come on. Come on. It's coming. We see the build up. You have to be a fool. You would have to be a fool to not see what's coming. Let's go to the 16th chapter. Let's go to, actually before that, let's go to Ezekiel chapter 5. Ezekiel chapter 5 from the top. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Also thou son of man, thus said Yahweh thy power, Unto the land of Israel, and and in the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense unto thee all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Thus said Yahweh thy power, and evil. And only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. So that ultimate evil is gonna is coming. The ultimate evil, because you know the scriptures applies has many ap applications, many many applications, and that grand evil will indeed be Jacob's trouble. Let's go to Ezekiel thirty third chapter. From the top, verse 1. Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man off of their coast, and set him for their watchmen, which are the prophets, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then who, who whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be, up, be upon his own head. And we're warning, we're warning and warning and warning and warning and warning and warning and warning. Jake and Jake don't want to hear it. Jake, Jake think, Jake think a pistol is more powerful than these scriptures. Like an action speak louder than words. You got Jake that believe in the scriptures, a zeal the most high but not according to knowledge. Roughly paraphrasing. But they still relying on Esau. This is verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. So Jake going to realize that the, 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 the dudes that was just, you know, in their eyes being bug outs in their eyes are um telling the truth. They're telling you what's coming. They're telling you 
evil and only evil is coming. But Jake don't want to hear it. Jake want to be wicked, uh, follow after the devil, and be on that, be on that, on oh, that, that, that fuck shit, man. And I'm gonna end this off right here. Shout out one.